I am going to TwitchCon, by the way. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing it. But I'm going Friday, Saturday. I'm going to fucking fly in, fly the fuck out. I'm literally going to fucking land, parachute out of the plane, fucking meet and greet, and then fucking grapple onto a plane and get the fuck out. That's the plan. I'm going to literally show up at the meet and greet with my luggage. I'm kidding. That's not what's going to happen. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. I think what? TwitchCon is like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday. So if I see any of you guys... um. You know, I was thinking of not because obviously, you know, the baby, but I don't really want to go on a plane with the baby just yet, especially because it's in like a month. So yeah, yeah, it's too early. We're trying to take it really slow here. So I'll, I'll be there Friday, Saturday. I don't know when the meet and greet is, but I'll be chilling. I, I might see some of you guys, but uh, I will be going for like two days. I have a feeling it's going to be an absolute clusterfuck, though. There's so many more broadcasters. There's so many more people. Like, it's, it's, I, I like, I'm a little, like, I'm like a fucking C-tier streamer at this point. I don't know. There's like fucking, like, nah. I don't know. There's, there's too many fucking people. Too many broadcasters, too many people with way more dedicated fans and shit. Like... I feel like uh, I'm going to mainly go for the meet and greet because then I can at least have a dedicated area to see some of you guys and then be done with it because that shit's a fucking clusterfuck now. There's too many fucking people. This shit is, a, is blown the fuck open. I'm a lawyer and supposed to be lawyering as we speak, but watching you instead. All good, bro. I'm not your client. All good, bro. Lola Maria. I'm in court with this guy, but I'm not even doing shit right now, man. The judge is calling his name. Mr. Erickson, Mr. Erickson, can you please get off your phone? I'm texting my wife. I'm sorry. <clears throat> what were we? If I remember, Hufflepuff had the most satisfying looking room. They have new gameplay as well. What the fuck, dude? Legacy featurette? Jesus, yo, they're dumping footage. I don't mind. This is a game I still want to- I still want to learn more about this game. So it's not that bad. I'm not like Hogwarts legacy out yet. There's still like a lot to take in for this game. Compared to like Gotham Knights, it's like, okay, bro, relax. What's the featurette here? I want to play it at launch. Legacy is an upcoming open world action role playing game set in the 1800s Wizarding World. It's filled with immersive magic that puts players at the center of their own adventure while attending Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Players will live the unwritten and embark on a dangerous journey to uncover a hidden truth of the Wizarding World. Throughout their adventure, they will grow their characters' abilities by mastering powerful spells, brewing potions, and harvesting magical plants as they face off against deadly enemies. Players will also encounter quests and scenarios that will pose difficult choices and determine what they stand for. What would Back to Hogwarts be without the iconic castle itself? The version of Hogwarts Castle in Hogwarts Legacy is enormous. Dude, I went to that fucking castle um, at Universal Studios, bro. That shit's insane. It looks that it's such a cool shot that they did and the way they built it. It's like, you're like, holy fuck, that literally looks like Hogwarts. Labyrinth in hallways filled with magic, life, and secrets. It looks awesome in the distance. The avalanche. The illusion is, is there. And have taken more than a few words, passages, and pages from J.K. Rowling's stories to ensure there are surprising details to discover. From the tapestry of Wendell and the Weird to the trophy room, and many more references, I'm not going to spoil here. When playing, I frequently find myself. I love this room. Is the most satisfying fucking room. The kitchen. The fucking lighting in this place. Fuck the houses. Can you choose to live in the kitchen? Self wonderfully lost, aimlessly wandering the halls of Hogwarts and curious what I'll discover next. To celebrate back to Hogwarts, we've brought a fresh look at a few iconic locations within the castle. Being as I'm a Slytherin, let's start with the secret entrance to our common room, hidden behind the slithering arch of a stone serpent. 
Oh shit, that's kind of sick. Dark yet warm dungeon located deep within Hogwarts. The Slytherin common room windows look out onto the Black Lake's murky depths. Just don't tap the glass. Next, we'll head to the portrait of the Fat Lady, behind which sits the common room of House Gryffindor. Portrait one of, of the, the Fat Lady. Towers of Hogwarts, we wanted to keep the lavish Gryffindor. Yeah, dude, that looks fucking insane too. Like that's that looks great. You know, Slytherin is cool, like, sure, but, like, do you want to be in, like, a depressing-ass area the whole time? Common room iconic to what fans are familiar with, but with specific features like the entrance tunnel described in the books. Those of clever mind can ascend one of Hogwarts' other tallest towers, speaking the answer to a riddle, and enter the Ravenclaw common room. Ravenclaw's love of knowledge and creativity, music and the arts is reflected throughout the brightly lit space. Raven, actually, Ravenclaw stone. has like a contemporary look. And last, but certainly not least, we'll go down past the kitchens to the not often seen Hufflepuff common room. Nah. Perhaps the coziest of the common rooms, the skylight allows natural sunlight to filter down into the Hufflepuff's burrow-like space. Uh-uh, uh -uh. To maintain a balance of bright earthiness. Nope. While Hogwarts may be huge on its own, Hogwarts Legacy will take players on an open world journey beyond the castle walls. But that doesn't mean there aren't more references and familiar places to discover. From Hogsmeade Village to the Forbidden Forest and even areas beyond the Black Lake, there's plenty to explore. And it's not just by chance we're near Hagrid's Magical Creatures motorbike adventure. The Avalanche team looked to all corners of the Wizarding World for inspiration, including this ride. Oh, One fuck. of Hogwarts Legacy's side quests will take you to these castle ruins, and there are many more references like it for astute fans to pick up on throughout the game, which is rich in detail. And that's not all we have to show. We have one more big announcement. Hogwarts Legacy is being developed for Collect. Wizarding World fans, and I'm excited to announce that we've created a special way to bring your fandom into the game and receive some cool extras to represent your house. Players can link their Harry Potter fan club account with their WB Games account to import their house and wand into Hogwarts Legacy. Based on your Harry Potter fan club sorting and wand quizzes, you can bring your authentic self into the game. Wait, what? Linking your accounts will also unlock a beaked skull mask and exclusive house fanatic robes in game. A special set of house themed robes so you can represent your house with style. This is all available starting today in celebration of Back to Hogwarts. Head to wizardingworld.com slash connect to connect your account and get these special items in Hogwarts Legacy when it releases. It's been a pleasure being part of the Back to Hogwarts celebration and sharing more about Hogwarts Legacy. From everyone at Avalanche Software and Port Key Games, we can't wait. Wait, how do you, you how do you port your own wand in? You can do a quiz now. Do I have to make an account? Wiz wizardingworld.com? Nah, dude. Hufflepuff fucking nah. You guys can live here. Lol, you guys literally live in the basement. Nah, dude. Scratch Hufflepuff. I'm good. Oh, from the basement in real life to the basement in game. Sash, I might move my setup to the basement. <sighs> Nah, I'm good there. I mean, it looks cool, but nah. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw looks fucking clean. This this shit looks this shit looks nice. Ravenclaw's got like a fucking class. Ravenclaw's got class. They got that fucking. They got that. They got a look to it. It's elegant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like the I like the blue white. Come on, man, look at that shit. 
That looks comfy. This is where you'd fucking hearth. Yeah, this is easily, uh, uh, this is easily up there. You will get sorted by the hat you can't choose. Are you sure? I don't think so. Looks like NASA. I guess so. Gryffindor. Gryffindor looks great, too. Gryffindor's got a fucking vibe as well. Yeah. Ravenclaw and Gryffindor definitely top two. Yeah, bro. Those colors pop. That looks fucking nice. Look at that fucking fireplace. Jeez. Mmm. It, it kind of has a grandma vibe. Yeah, but, uh... Yeah, dude. They, I don't know what it is. It's like the color of their the wallpaper with the rugs. Hmm. And then Slytherin. Slytherin? It's kind of like everyone's fucking emo here. But it ha I, this has like a very cool castle-y vibe to it. I like the staircase. I mean, you know. Uh, they have the coolest door entrance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not bad though. It has like a it has like a like a starry night vibe color scheme or like Hmm. I wouldn't say it's like super depressing. It's it's definitely the most castle-y look to it. It's clean. I mean, the roof looks that looks beautiful too. I mean, that looks nice. I like how uh, the light shines in. The door was adorable. Nice, dude. Nice. It has a waterfall. Yeah. I'm between... Actually, Slytherin wasn't so bad. I don't know, man. I, I think I'm between Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, though, in terms of, like, what I'd want to see. Hufflepuff? Fucking throw Hufflepuff out. I'm good, bro. This game looks like it has the Matrix filler. Filter. Slytherin's room looks like it has a Matrix filter. <laughs> 